Hello everyone, Eric Watson here, freelance writer, player of games, writer of words, recorder of videos, and forlorn survivor of the impending Viking apocalypse. Welcome to my Let's Play series where I live stream video games currently twice a week on Mondays and Fridays. This is episode number six of my Banner Saga 2 series. If you enjoy my videos, consider supporting me via patreon.com slash roguewatson. Shout out to platinum patrons Andrew, Brian, Richard, Joe, Will, Tiny Dancer, and Charles. Gold patrons, RPG Papercrafts, Charming Grenade, Pretty Boy and Yuma, Marco Stewart, Vicente, Gilberto, Sean, a.k.a. Cert to be Adam, Dead Lizard Lounge, Alkshi, and Sam. Thank you all very much for your support. Where the hell were we? I think we were nearing the end of the Alette chapter. Yeah, morale is bad. We're out of food. So, it's a Banner Saga game. <laughs> uh, we were in the creepy woods. And we really can't even afford to rest. So I think we're just gonna leave? Where's my leave button? I have to click the rest button. Crap, there doesn't appear to be a way to actually leave here. I can look at my heroes, I can train. Oh, is there more training available? This is the last session and it'll take all you've got. Alright, last training. Let's do it. Then we begin. What can you show me? It's got to have to do with the horseborn, I would think. They're the new ones, right? What more can you show me, Sven? Or not? Oh, it's just everything, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Use the warhorn to recover willpower. Is that literally just the thing on the top of the morale thing? Use Tale Worth Telling for a plus 5 damage bonus. Oh, crap. I don't know if I've ever actually used that. Do 10 or more strength damage in a single hit. Defeat all enemies. Okay. With this specific team. Well, it is letting me change my guys around. I think I, it usually lets me do it like once per battle. Actually, I could just let them come to me. No uh, defensive people whatsoever. Kind of sucks. Tale worth telling for a plus five damage one. How does your thing work? Every two strength enemy has over ally gives plus one strength damage. So I need to have an enemy. I need to use tale worth telling on somebody with low strength. And then do it on somebody that has high strength, I guess. Maybe that'll work. Is that how that works? Let's find out. Can you reach me? You sure can. Oh no. Well, I don't have... Shoot. Ha! I don't think I can complete this one because I don't have the uh, Warhorn that can give me willpower. I've got negative willpower. I guess I can at least get some of the objectives done. Um, yeah, that's a bummer. It lowers the willpower of all my people, too. 19 strength. Ivor, you freaking beast. Let's just let them come to me, I think. Um, who's that? Ivan? Uh, let's see. You can do troll stones. Arc lightning. Can't have it in range. Same thing with the troll stones. I think it'll do like yeah, one damage. I'm not gonna block him. How dare you, Trigby? I don't want to put you too far forward, though. You're gonna get demolished, my man. So let's just rest you as well. <laughs> Alright, so we need to use Tail Worth Telling on somebody with low strength, I think. Which would be either the Archers or Trigvi. Are you not close enough to do it? No, you're not. Uh, 
Let's walk over to a let then. You can't. Well, wonderful. <laughs> you can't do it him either. Alright. Uh, let's do it on an odd leaf. You can do it. We believe in you. That you're just gonna have to do some armor damage. Really, it's a hell of a range. Hack on, what can you do? You can do your spin attack. Ooh, you can do a. Nah, I can't quite do a spin attack, damn. <clears throat> Alright, let's move here. Strength damage plus one, plus one to break. Sure, let's try that. It sucks about the Warhorn willpower thing. Let's see, how much damage can you do? Mm, can't quite reach that one, okay. Bonus strength damage when stationary. Let's try and do some strength damage then. I think we can do 10 or more strength damage in a single hit. There we go. It's one of the objectives. Ouch. Um. Honestly, can you just... Men, sir. All to hell. Uh, I don't think that's worth doing. Just attack him. This guy is screwed. Tail worth telling for a plus five damage. But I'm not sure how to do that. Um, can you do tail worth telling on hack on then? Of course, I think he's gonna... Uh, does he go before me or not? Oh, You're getting pretty screwed. Does Thread the Needle do? Uh, it's just a piercing shot. Here, so he's got Thread the Needle, which is good. Not sure if that's working as a plus five damage bonus or not, but. Uh, I guess not. That's right, we can get willpower this way. <clears throat> so I can complete this. Although I'm still not sure exactly how I do tail worth telling. It doesn't appear to be going off. Oh, I trapped Ivor. What a dumbass. Sorry, Ivor. Damn it. Damn it all. Ivan, what good are you? People, that's not good. That does not hit my own people. Pull that lightning out of the ground. Ow. He's pretty much done for. Pull this one off. I mean, let's say for every 
Every two strength enemy has over ally gives plus one strength damage. So, to get plus five, you'll need ten strength. An enemy that's ten strength over me. So I want to give it to, like, Trigvi at his two. Oh, Trigvi's about to die, though. Oh, well, maybe... Wait, which one is that? Okay, that one. Yeah, let's see if we can... Give this to Trigvi. That might actually work. And then attack anybody who's, like, a 12. And that should work. Uh, I don't see anybody walking towards you, and we're not getting rid of their armor very well, so that you're just not going to be super useful here. <laughs> Tear their armor up. No, don't kill Trigby, please. Damn it. Oh, okay, good. You attacked the other guy. That works. Do you have the spinny move? You do have spinny move. Alright. Spinny move was decent. Ah, oh, shoot. Trigby, when do you get to go again? Not for a long ass time, and I think both the other guys get to go. Ouch. So I need him to get the attack off. Uh, you are. Going to keep doing armor damage. Now, Ivor, I could move you here. You can't do your spinning move though, because you'll kill. If we can kill Trigby, because it's that guy. And then, unfortunately, it's that guy. So he gets to go before Trigby, and he's gonna fucking kill him. That actually works. There you go, there you go. Can I accept that? Um, arc lightning. Ooh, interesting. That actually goes in a whole little section right there. That would hit my guy, but this one would not. Let's actually go defensive. Let's mend or hack on here. Ouch. Alright, so now I think I've got that damage bonus against him, because he can do seven, which he shouldn't be able to. So I think if I just attack you, that would give me the tale worth telling. If I'm using it correctly. Yes, I got it. Okay. So now we just have to use the Warhorn to recover, which we just did. And then we'd have to defeat all enemies, so we can actually get this one done. Which I think we can do, although we are pretty damn low. Who gets to go next? You. And you before hack on, damn. Um, let's do it again with, uh, Alette, because she gets to go next. Unless you're going to attack Alette, which is going to be unfortunate. Oh, we're going to attack Elio. Yep, stab him in the gut. Quit cheering your friends on. So I wonder if she still has that bonus, though, right? I don't know. Don't appear to be doing me any good. I can't actually... do very much damage to anybody, so let's just do some armor damage then. They're dropping like flies. Yeah, I'm going to hit my own 
guy though. Tear up their armor. Oof. One health left. Um, Rain of Arrows doesn't really help me unless big guy is going to come at me, in which case that might be worth it. So let's put it right there. Just in case you actually step one step forward. I've had really bad luck with this Rain of Arrows, though. Yep. Not going to move. What a jackass. Ivor, however, has all the health, so... That's going to work out very nicely. One of these people actually getting injuries for this, because that would be very unfortunate. Everybody's pretty good on armor, honestly. Super runaway. I don't know, just put a stone up, do some damage. This guy still has a shit ton of armor. Any armor damage to him? Turn on Overwatch mode. If that guy steps up, we'll shoot his ass. He did step up, although I'm only doing one damage. Huh. He just ran away. That's weird. Good, he's got nothing. Ah, Overwatch went off again, nice. Very odd that they're all deciding to attack Ivor's armor when in fact a lot of them I feel like could be killing off these really low hit point people. Alright, you can do damage. Puts us in pillage mode, which is good. And you can finish him off. Awesome! Since training complete. Give me all them battle objectives. I must be, uh... Wow, 35 right now. Must be near the end of this uh, game, then. If, I, if that's the last of Sven's training. Well... Still don't have any supplies to rest with. <laughs> Damn it. Can we rest without supplies? It just makes our morale lower. God, one day would suit us very well. Um, I have nobody who's level 8. Who can be level 8? Ivor could be level 8. And Alette could be level 8. Both of them seem like they would benefit quite a bit from being level 8. My only options. God, you can promote twice over. Holy crap, Ivor. Alright, let's give you this one then. Which frees up this level 5. Which is just plus 3 strength. Which we could give to somebody. Let's give it to Deirdre. And then I guess promote Alette, because we're probably going to use her again, too. Rich get richer. Oh, that has a plus symbol on her. Fifteen renown. Probably get a low person leveled up, maybe, like a Hogan. it take for Eggel to get promoted? 15 exactly, let's do it. Let's get you some armor. Some more strength armor breakage. Alright, well, training is at least very lucrative when it comes to the Renown, so our only option looks like to rest. You can actually leave. Alright, that's cutscene. Ivan. 
memorized the basic threads of mending yet? I think so. It's hard to find time to practice, though. It feels like someone's always needing something. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Mender nods but watches you silently. You going to show me more? Part of weaving is knowing what pattern you're looking to create before you ever begin. So I want to mend a wound like you did with Ivor's arm. And I want to use your bow to fire an arrow through a line of enemies. Yeah, but that took me years to... Oh, I get it. <laughs> we'll start small. I'll show you a pattern so tiny it will feel like you're doing nothing, but it's the foundation of many great woven spells. I wish they would expand on like how exactly their magic system works, because it does sound interesting. A violent rumble in the ground. You know. Oh, Lord. It's not a world-devouring serpent, is it? It's a world-devouring serpent. Aim it. Run. Oh. Shit. Did you know just get it? <laughs> Yikes. What is going on? Tongue. How is it you remain alive while inside me? This is a really cool art right here. I'm no longer sure I can die. Look at the way it like gets translucent here. Troublesome. <laughs> I often say that to those who can't die. That's troublesome. You've been hunting me. Such arrogance. I consume what parts of this world I can. But your use of power that is rightfully mine is no longer tolerable. Look how cool that thing looks. God, I like the wrinkles. You've spoken with the serpent once before. You should not be here. Nothing is yours. I haven't used any power. So you swallow me? How can I give it back? You repelled my attacks but managed to die in your own ways. Yet you managed a grip on my power. Absorbing you as a meal makes sense. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> I knew this is like desktop wallpaper. This is gorgeous. How have I become so pathetic I cannot even consume you? Oh, <laughs> poor serpent. <laughs> poor world devouring serpent. It's okay. We all have our off days. Why must you consume me? Perhaps we want the same thing. Your schemes are insignificant. Would you humor a gnat's requests? Mmm. Megalomania is good. Besides, if you truly desire the same as me, release your grip on that which currently sustains you. And allow you to destroy all that lives. To what end? To the end. <laughs> Just as the world started, so it must cease. All things have an end. This is good dialogue. And so must you. The others with me will find a way to stop you. <laughs> it's like dropping the base. <laughs> the others. Could they be your end as well? But you cannot control them all. Serpent catches your hesitation. Heh, <laughs> bulwark. So there is one you cannot control. He would be my salvation, but. Another shudder. I feel it too. We are both dying. No satisfaction in mutual destruction. <laughs> Impatience has undone me. Frustrating to learn a solution too late. Not know we've got a dialogue session with the serpent. Vanak de Sim Jugol. Some kind of, uh, oh, the two of you shriek simultaneously and your vision dims. It's like a dragon heart thing going on. Is she, like, tied to it? I have many follow up questions. Oh, crap. Did she rip the serpent apart? I 
happened? What did you... How did you do this? Even Ivor is just, like, standing there. We should get away from here. Holy crap. That is legit. Wow. I guess Juno took out the... World Serpent. Oh. Oh, this is <laughs> morale declined. <laughs> See the not yet dead serpent rise with a bloody gash. Morale declined. Wander out of the old wood to rejoin. Almost all look days, moving by rote rather than purpose. Not much different than you and the scant few left of the caravan. Yeah, we are kind of run out of folks. Things aren't looking good. This is the weakest I've ever felt, Alette. We've lost so many. I feel the same way. I I couldn't do a damn thing to help. You've never seen the Varl like this. All scattered like roaches. I don't know if all the ones missing are dead or just lost. I couldn't tell if we were chasing that serpent or trying to get away from it. At least Ivor has his luscious braids still, still together. Wait, Ivan threw lightning at it. I've never seen anything like that, and I've lived a long damn time. <laughs> Is that why you still wear overalls? Must have wounded that thing a hundred times before it stopped, then blasted open its side to save her. So Ivan did it? I thought Juno did something. Maybe they both did something. can't tell you if... I can't tell if you like what he did or not. It's me liking it or not have to do with anything. He did what he did because he had to. You and me have both been in the same situation before. We'll probably do something similar. Little I've learned about spell weaving, I don't think he's an ordinary mender. And Avalka being swallowed by a serpent and cut out with lightning? Sounds like one of Elio's tales. How did she live through that? don't know how any of us. I guess not many of us did live through it. Wank <laughs> wank. Sad trombone. An unavoidable presence. Hello, silent, my old friend. We really can't get any worse morale. That's the good news. Juno you know, stands from the cart carrying our clans and recall old prayers to pull their children behind them. She takes in their frightened stares of the graces but begins to Ivan join her away from the caravan. I'm not sure where all this is leading but these clansmen, what's left of them aren't doing so good. Fine, we all will. I'll speak to the bigger families, try to calm them. Train more fighters. We don't have enough food for all these fighters. Speak to the big families. While you're doing that, I'll see what I can find out from the menders. Waterfalls, smash towns, horse porn, and giant snakes. You got no clue what's coming. Others shout their agreements, but he calls for them to be quiet. Neither do any of us, and that's the truth, so we stick to your banner. They just lose their fight in their eyes and nod. Alright. Yay. <laughs> Slightly improved. It's still real bad. Can we make it to the town? There are signs of recent fighting all around Fiskivik. Fiskivik. But it might provide a meeting ground for all who scattered when the serpent struck. It's a very odd accent. I can't quite place it. Is that more Irish or more like Norwegian? I mean, obviously it's supposed to be, I think, more Norse because of the whole Viking thing. Days have passed since Ivan pulled Juno from the serpent. Though the Menders are mostly back to their normal selves, clans begin to keep their distance. Worried about all these people we're missing, scattering like in the old wood. I feel guilty. You can't prepare for a giant snake bursting up your camp. <laughs> in this world, maybe you should prepare for that kind of thing. These people depend on me. I gave them my oath we would get to Arborang. And keep going. The moment you left Skogar, you knew everyone wouldn't make it, but the rest of you can. Harsh as hell, Ivor. Stay alive. As long as you do, these people are going to follow you. You keep saying you instead of we. Are you trying to tell me something? 
Juno and Ivan. They want me to join them. What? Join them where? They haven't filled me in on most of the plans, but they said I'm needed and that we're leading the caravan. I need to talk to them about this. I've never had a mother. The way you're acting, I don't think I'd want one. Alright, piss off. Yeah. <laughs> That whatever they have planned will be dangerous, but sticking with you hasn't really been the safest route either. Ivor! It's not fucking my fault! But we're almost to Arboring. And then what? The human capital full of Varl, and fearing war from the dredge. You do what you have to do, but there's no place for me. Even when Ivan arrived, Hall appearance catches you off guard. Ivor told you of our plans. What he could? What's all this about? We're no longer good for the caravan. Our presence not only scares the clansmen, but puts them in real danger. Beyond that, the serpent's attack has been... has clarified our need to move quickly, something we cannot do with all of you. But this caravan needs the three of you. I need... I need you to help get these people to Arborang. That's not entirely true. We've been working on something Juno learned about at Garyatter's Godstone. That's right. Lend me your map. What does that mean? Are you going to unlock a fast travel system? Because that would be real helpful in this world. <laughs> this threads from a cloak and his tunic snake through the aged material. Show me the map! Mischief managed! Oh, it's blue now. Oh, dear. Giant purple section. What the hell does that mean? Is this the coming of bad? This is the bad territory? Like, because we're fleeing from this general direction, I think. It's actually harder. I don't remember anything about the first game, honestly, about where we started from, but I know the second game started. Uh, somewhere east of Ormsdalar. Because that's, I think, where we split. And then Bulwark went through the mountains under Bindal. I forgot where the hell he ended up. And now we're in Fiskovic. Well, the good news is, it seems like we're ahead of the badness. It's just now reached the beginning of the second game, right? Surely we're good, then. Ooh, I like how the sound... It's like more ominous as you actually go over that section. That's good. That's real good. You also can't click on anything up there. It's just done. Interesting. The gods may be dead, but a few of their secrets remain. I've spoken about a darkness in shrouding the land, and now you bear witness to it on your map. The sky will soon reflect the truth shown here. Well, thank, to thank you for being the bearer of great news. Even the chasms opening across the land are displayed, but your path to Arboring is clear. Speed will be your ally now. So few you should be able to outpace whatever comes your way. There are so few of us because of you two. Wait, are you saying... say that we owe a lot of them. I mean, we would have all died with before Ivan. He was the one that made us that rock bridge. I don't understand why you need Ivor. One-armed Varl brings good luck. Ivor's strength and resolve will be necessary for us in the days ahead. It's the same resolve you use daily, and you will have Hakon and the remaining Varl with you for strength. But Ivor's my friend. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to show him a weakness here. Ivor exhales loudly like he's releasing a breath he's held in for ages. In all my years, you and your father are the only two I could call friends. I doubt that will change even if I live another century or two. And it sure won't change with distance. Understand? That's about as sweet as he's going to get, I think. No words come to mind. What will assault you there will require every bit of your wits and strength to survive. You will perish if we do not succeed. How do I know if you succeed? You'll know because you'll still be alive. <laughs> Great. You must get to the capital. You must stay alive, no matter what occurs. Hold out as long as you can. 
Roll down until the darkness breaks. Wonderful. What can I expect an Arborang since you know things? I can promise you nothing but safety, but Arboring will be the, refu the refuge for so many. Clans will lie for power the way they always do, even in the face of destruction. Remember, you are a Sunder Slayer. Your reputation will help you a great deal. Damn right. What is the darkness? The quote unquote darkness. The darkness is a mistake, a part of this world never meant for you or us or anyone alive today. Oh, something Ivan did? Ivan, that's enough. We're trying to do what we have to. Spear moving ourselves so like for mine moves to other things. Okay, still not gonna tell me the whole story. If you were anywhere else, I'd stick around to help, but there's no one alive better suited to take care of these folks. Man. I just leveled you up too. Will we ever see you again? So are we going to split off into a third group? It's time you became a let again. Your hood might still serve you in a fight, but otherwise pull it down. The people deserve to look their leader in the eye. Let, I'm so proud of you. There are hidden patterns on your bow, which only will become clear with practice. Take care. Yeah, I should be multi-classing into a mender, right? <laughs> you as well, Evan. Sorry for the hardship your life has become. It probably means little to hear it from me. You've done great work in making it this far. The small force will face and defeat the darkness before it reaches you. I hope our efforts will not be in vain. Well, wonderful. Pushing to our ring. Alright. We lost our only two spellcasters and our strongest frontline warrior. That's... That bodes real well. Does that bode well? Yes. <laughs> Cat. Cat Harold with a keyboard. Chapter 13. That was a bittersweet ending of chapter 12. So are we back to Bulwark, or do we look at Ivor and the Menders? I assume we're going up to Bulwark. There he is. Where the hell is your story going, Bulwark? Volga joins you as you stare into the woods. Don't tell me you're fine when you're not. You're still having those damn dreams. You growl, feeling less like talking than ever. I keep seeing dredge in different ways. We're eating together, and they're gone. Once I was teaching them to fight, and they respected me. It's not me, but it feels like me. I imagine he just growls everything. Volka watches you listening closely. I feel old, ancient, strong. But the dredge disappear and I feel... What? Sad. Like an emptiness. Loneliness. Man, Volvark's opening up. Well, I have to know all about loneliness among company. When you don't laugh, she shrugs it off. It's just strange that you're feeling kinship towards Dredge. Maybe that stone singer in the tunnel could have been made to explain some of it. That would just get the faint Volca involved. The fear will get involved regardless. If the map's right, we'll hit Old Ford and be at the Volca Tower in Manahar soon. Yeah, I neglected to leave that Dredge behind. Even though it probably would have made better sense story-wise, but I figure Volvark would have balked. Darkness trying to swallow us. Let's finish the job of getting this cart to Menahar. I'll talk to her about the dreams. A Juno or whatever mentioned a darkness coming. Let's just finish the job. In other words, you're done talking about your dreams and feelings. Vulcan, you will scan the trees. There! Point to an archer loosing her arrow and dodge it, roaring a battle cry. Oh. Roll for initiative. Do I get to choose my forces or no? That would be a negative. Oh boy. Singing crew. Everybody over on one side, I guess. Give us 
us your food and your weapons. They're trying to rob us? You will live to learn their mistake. <laughs> Look, it's uh, in the middle of the apocalypse. It's bad shit. I wonder... Well, hmm. Because I could use Bear Rage. But I do get to go way more often than they do, so... Maybe I'll just take advantage of his multi-hits instead. And just get both of these kills. Actually, can you do Cull the Weak? Because you do right now... Eight strength damage. Call the weak to strength damage minus two. Right, we've got willpower to spare, though. So that just gives you another turn. Can you use call the weak again? No. <laughs> that would be cr that would be crazy. And just kill people left and right. Is this just designed to show off how fucking incredibly strong Bulwark is? Wow, Fulka! Can also kill people, that's good to know. Again, I think we need to do it at full strength, though. Nice, nice, nice. Don't hit Folka now. Oh, you can do Cold a Week again. Holy crap, burgers! Um, which you do seven. You could do it with rank 2, I think, and still get the kill. Oh boy, look at that. How to use Bulwark right here. Yeah, he can just keep doing it. Okay. That's pretty nuts, I guess, as long as he has the willpower. Jeez, just murdering everybody. Kill this one straight up. God, Bulwark, you fucking maniac. I mean, he's just gonna go again, so might as well. Move her up. Oh no, is that one of those rogue motherfuckers? You can do strength minus two, so you can just do cold the weak at level one. I need to add some willpower there. So right now you can do six. So now you can't do cold the weak once you start having to use more. Instead, you will do bear age. Counterattack, yeah, anybody that attacks him. Ooh. Uh, in that case, move up here. And there you go. I think Wolverk is actually gonna just kill all these guys, it's nuts. Two of them just took out a friggin' army. It's pretty crazy. Mm. Finally slowing down a bit, buddy.
But you made it through everybody, so I'll give you that. Wow. <laughs> Where are the singers? Who sent you? We escaped. We left for Arbery. Left us in Galar. Prisoners, no food. We were starving. You end his life quickly. the nice thing to do. Alright, Volka. Volka Zephyr is speaking quietly to Volka when you approach. Only rare for Volka to have children. So, Nichols was like a son. He was not my child by birth. Killing your cub to save your own fur. What did you do to him back to the cave? The only thing I could do, the thing we never want to do. I forced a skip in the pattern, which won't meet mon won't which won't mean much to you. And there's usually repair skips or mistakes in the woven fabric of our world. They cover powerful exposed threads until all is right and the pattern is whole. I did just the opposite. By skipping Nichols, I exposed a thread and used that power to end Eilis's attack. And that cost Nichols his life. Yes, but it's a sacrifice every mender is prepared to make, should it be necessary. I know I know you won't try to skip me when we get to Manahar. Because I can't. It is a conscious choice a mender is taught how to make. Brave kid, then. Wavens will remember him in a battle chant. Oh. I'm sure he'd have liked that. My Galar would abandon its prisoners. Tell you the truth about everyone fleeing to Arborang, King Minoff will have a serious problem to handle. There's a lot of multiple stories going on. Let's get moving. Let's get to Manahar. Manahar! This guy, who might have forgot your name. He would be drunk if there was more mead for him. It's not how you hold a sword, buddy. Sigbjorn, that's his name. What is it we're doing, Blood Axe? I mean, honestly, what's the plan rattling around in that head of yours? Trying to keep us all alive. Well, you don't find that strange? A varal berserk fling den mother to a bunch of humans? Get in Sigbjorn's face with a deep growl. Maybe you outlived your welcome here. See if you're so strength for one of your pups here who might actually be intimidated. Grab the warhawk by a horn and punch him in the gut. He doubles over, coughing. <laughs> all right. Rearing up with a punch that catches you in the chin. While you recover, the ravens all gather around, some daring to cheer. Fulcum watches us with interest. Oh boy, we're just gonna down and out fight him. Slam him to the ground. When you finally get a hold and throw him to the ground, he rolls, grabs a pot of boiling soup, and lobs it at you. You bat the pot away with liquid splashes you, and you roar in pain. Sigbjorn's face drops as he sees the rage in your eyes, the berserk. You cover the distance in two steps, not remember drawing your axes. They slash fiercely, wildly, repeatedly. There's one less far on the world. Oh no, you just end up murdering him. Everyone stays well away from you until Folka signals that your fury has passed. Even then, the ravens are cautious as they strip Sigbjorn's body of valuables to prepare his pyre. Jesus. I, think was, I feel like there was a lot more of those moments in the first game. There's been very few of them that ended up in in people's deaths here. In fact, it was all like... It's been a lot of scripted events that have killed people. It's kind of surprising. crew is getting decidedly emptier. I do have 33 Renown to work with, though. 
Should we give Folka the honors? She certainly seems pretty solid. Um, actually, let's give you some more willpower. Eighteen left. Holy, we do like you. I assume we need more. Twenty-one, yeah. He's the shield guy, right? Actually, should promote Gunmundar. Run through or bloody flail. Those are both actually really good abilities. Two armor break, and then he stops and does normal damage. Bloody flail. Does direct damage. Yeah, I like bloody flail, actually. I need to use that guy more. we were to put together a team, it would look something like this, I think. We don't need to rest, so I guess we're just leaving. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any training here, either. Are we done with training? Perhaps so. Those woodcutters were no slouches in a fight with those prisoners. I've seen weaker men in Warden. I think this group realizes their idea of staying here is a pretty bad one. You want me to recruit them? Um. I bet we'll need all the fighters we can get. I don't want any others to look after. More fighters are always good. What's the downside? Same as it's always been. They eat like blasted trolls but can't find food to save their lives. Our supplies will go quicker. Let's recruit him. Seems like we've got a decent amount of food, but we'll see. Onward with the march. A large hole in the ground. There's some strange marks all around it. Some look fresh, others look like they've been up there. And there as long as the mountains. some answers out of you, old man. I've seen a few holes like that other places around the world. One had a bag of jewels buried right in the center. Another one fell away into a pit of adders. Heard a man die a more painful death than that one than anything on the battlefield. Let's check it out. It's as described. Big, deep, surrounded by scrawlings in the surrounding rock and disturbing. Next appears to start looking for anything of value. When the fighter finds anything, an old class gives it to you as you haul him out. Alright. Randomly found some treasure. God, Bulwark's group is huge compared to Alette's. Holy crap. And they went through a damn dungeon crawl. Fighters hack away at the company. At the front of the company, we get hacking away at dense underbrush. Grab your axes and start chopping. Standing at distance, throwing axes at vines ineffectively. <laughs> Others start cringing and yelping. Knock it. Arr! Before you finish, a burning, stinging pain tears through your arms and eyes and nose. I think that's. Uh, that plan is poison. All he says before taking another drink. He feels around in his pouch and holds out some brown wet leaves. Here. They are cow. No. Counts. These counters. These make the poison go away. Pain ripples through you, making you want to vomit. Grab the leaves and eat them. <laughs> just let's take the drugs from the drunk. I don't, I don't know. You were, you just rubbed them on your skin. <laughs> he ate them. Seems like 
paint past the entire rank. I need his rest. <laughs> he ate him. <laughs> like, no, sorry, that's that's a topical cream. <laughs> this is why you always read the directions on medicine. Uh-oh. That sounds like the darkness. Respected Big Lighter the Builder, but if he made those caves we went through, I'll. Well, I'd have killed him myself. Another Godstone. We seem to be in the middle of all the chapters. They've swatched your step around those cairns. Many a foolish pilgrim have given their life at the face of this frozen cliff. Don't try working one of those stones free, either, or you'll bring the whole damn thing down on us. Big layer is Godstone. The Builder. <laughs> Knock theirs over and run them off. Right. He's got a soft spot for the children. Distant field below is a mass of dredge too numerous to count. Waves of them are pouring over hills. They don't move like an attacking force. There's a banner among them, but I can't make out the crest. Boy, you're going to see the purple line of doom. them right there? Oh my gosh. What's the problem now? It's a curse, an omen. The child's been replaced. Change! Points to the couple and others not. A few men holding the children tighter. Maybe the darkness did it. Maybe they have dark secrets. It's a sad, hard thing to accept, but either the babe dies or we all suffer fiercely. What? <laughs> Show me the kid. Father hesitates before pulling the swaddling open. Your experience with human children is minimal, but this looks like just any other baby. Look at the head! You lean down and see feathers over the ears, small tufts of pale down feathers, the kind you remember seeing on the neck and under the wings of Ironix. That's a good one. That's what I call them. Maybe the gods aren't. Before I can finish. I'm not dealing with your... A small village. These people don't know what's coming. I'll figure it out soon enough. We'll get what we need from this place and rest if necessary. How do they not see the mountains of dredge pouring over the hills? Hello again. What do you want? <laughs> I went up on a hill to watch the dredge. The um, banner we saw? It's from Einertoft. Grimace as the town's name floods your mind with images. A giant bridge, hundreds of varl, ivor in your way. Your anger focused just beyond him. Heinertoft was sacked, the old war leader Krumer says. You'd better be as sure as crap stinks about what you saw, human. And I'm going after them. It's not a request. Join the old varl, though it could be suicide. There's no punctuation at the end of the sentence. I guess we're going with him. Kumar! Apparently should have been the one to level you up. I can. 
I have enough ground for that. You're the one that does the weird forge ahead thing. Yeah, that's a weird ability. Alright, so let's add that team then. I don't have anybody at level 10, so I can't use that item. Um, Goodmunder is good. Let's go with Ollie. Let's go with Falka. And I guess we'll use Spar. What the hell? Crafty old man. I like insulting people. So what is it we're going? He's charging into the dredge for some godforsaken reason? Sounds like a bad freaking idea. team, don't they? Hey, look at that. I can move my people around, though. Let's... Maybe that bug took a... took a session to fix itself for some reason. God, these guys are fucking big, though. You know what? Let's... Two strength is pretty fucking bananas. That is god awful. Still can't quite get to me. Can I just sit back here and let them come to me? That would be better. Ooh. I can set you up there. Bulwark, what can you do against Dredge? Not too terribly much. Kill the Stone Singer. Got the X Storm. Run through is also not a bad idea here, although it means we're probably getting hit by that guy. So don't do that. So he's got all that multi-attack. Which means I want to move you here, I think. Give me some of this armor. Wow. Lots of armor breakage. Skipping turn. Nice. Alright. Does insulting help you here? We can keep insulting this big-ass guy, because he could be a problem. Father smelt of elderberries. Bloody flail could 
come in handy here. Or just do some. Let's do some good armor damage first. Nice. Gives in all of them. Don't you hit my precious bulwark. Oh, fuck. Bulwark's taking a pounding. That's not good. Should have turned on Bear Rage there. Insulting anybody anymore. There's no real big guys on the battlefield. This guy's real bad in combat, though. Why is the music so loud in this section? You do not have run through. You do have bloody flail. But... Never pans out. Why do I continually try to use it? It's a frustrating ability in the game. Guy is gonna be real 
scary. Alright, if we can kill him, we get them in pillage mode, though. That's gonna help. Shoot, I'm gonna end up losing everybody in this fight. But it's this was a painful one. Jesus. Oh, almost everyone went down in that fight. Big ass dredge. First to go down. All the injuries. Barely any renown. I don't give you nearly enough renown for all the people you have. You want to stare at me or get out of this feigned mess? The other world fighter is a loop. Past you with all the strength they have left, knocking away any dredge to get too close. Deep tones of the scarred bar will utter curses you never heard before, then he sees you. You the fain leader of these pathetic humans? These humans are the ravens. And I'm Bellow. Ugh, I'm Bulverk. Who are you and why do you look like you were spit out by a cold bear? Assault, former commander of what was Einertuft. Might recognize this one beside me. You glance at the Varl with barely any horns or beard. Kvig, you ask. What are the depths? Kvig is the youngest Varl, the last one made. Huh. Are all that's left of those who fled Grofheim and stood against Bellower at Einertoft. Kvig, run and get us some damn drinks and some meat. Bulwark and I need to talk. Alright. Actually gained some new people, which never happens. Boy, that guy looks jacked up. I always figured the ravens were a myth. Varl always being around so many humans doesn't make any sense. I need fighters. There's a lot more humans to choose from these days. I'm alive by luck alone. No skill with a weapon or desire to kill could have seen me through that. Einaroft was a massacre. I need to make it the field to stick close and get some revenge. What happened back there? More debt than I've seen in all my centuries combined. Bellower led an incredible force against us with such precision. He moved his hordes of fighters around like his own arms and legs. If we feign cut one off, he just grew another. Why didn't more of you flee? Durinder, he decided to make a stand. I was left for dead. I woke up to actual ravens pecking my face. Damn near got my eyes. That's gross. That stuff behind us. Fain easy. Those aren't all dredge warriors. They might all be armed, but they're mostly families. Most won't bother you if you leave them alone. It's one of Dredge ever left us alone. They'll still kill you if you stick your ass in the ground for too long, but I'm telling you what I've seen. Most of those stone bastards seem to be running scared. Which is something we learned in the first game, I believe. That they were all that was the big thing is you think you're being invaded by Dredge, but actually the Dredge are just running from something worse. More of them hunting something or someone though. Ravens were called in to keep people from rioting. Trying to get those people to leave was useless. Then Bellower showed up with an army. A human took him down. A human? The immortal Bellower's dead? A hunter named Rook shot the sunder with some Volca arrow. Figures. I met the man in his vault before. Didn't think they'd amount to sunder slayers, though. Rook died, but Alette is leaving the caravan to Arborang. Hakon and the other Varl are with them. 
Humans die like flies, don't they? <laughs> You're heading west, Figured and I will stick with you and cut south to Arboring at Old Ford. Alright. I met some racist Varl. <laughs> Not fond of humans. Man, those are some nasty freaking injuries. Holy crap. I don't have enough renown for any of you. Can I actually afford to even rest very long? I don't think so. We'll try. I think Bulwark's still injured. Yep, he's one more day. days, though. Morale is pretty great. There we go. Spend what little renown I have for another day of rest. So I actually got to mark it. Onward! Closer than we thought. It's like the dredge don't need sleep. Backhanding him to the ground. Speed and luck are your only hopes to outpace the dredge and make it to Manahar. We won't be stopping for anything, rest included. This is what we call a death march. Oh no. What if we're attacked? The wounded will need rest. We will be attacked. The wounded die or make it to Manahar. That's as simple as it gets. Anyone who can't fight stays behind. That's 400 people. Move out and leave the fighting to those who know how. Stupid humans. <laughs> A death march. I mean, a few others handle this lot, Spar says before coughing violently. Keep going. We know where to find you. And we all know the danger we're in, so don't go soft and sentimental on me. Do what you can, old man. It's basically going to lose him. Send a dozen fighters to keep the dredge at bay. Charge the dredge. Get to Karen dealer, fending off attacks where you can. Salt said they might not care to fight. Keep moving. Ah, they do not engage. You are well past the group, everyone around you starts cheering and telling their version of what just happened. Nice. Treasure's trying to get the hell out of there too. There's too many of them, Bulwark. Too far to go. We've got to stop for a rest. Up your legs. Catch your breath, but don't sit or lay down. You're searching the supply cart for food to pass out quickly when a glowing rock lands on your feet. So you kick it backward the way it came, and the explosion gets everyone's attention. The dredge attack. Well, crap. Another dredge fight. I don't like the Kumar guy. How good is Fessaltz? He's a provoker. Character curses and spits at an enemy, forcing that character to attack him on his next turn. With his high armor, he often takes little or no damage from the assault. Huh. Interesting. He does have insane armor. Should we try using him? A lot of these guys have really good armor. This is what we're going to go with. I still don't know if it's worth bringing Spar. He's just so useless in everything else other than his ability to insult people, which is limited at best. Can't quite promote you people. I could promote Ollie, probably. Let's go, team. Fight off the dredge. Interesting that Bulwark's thing is all about the dredge, whereas 
a Let's thing was uh, just fighting people. Thank God I can move my people around. Yay. Let's get everybody the hell over here. That's all it's going to be first. Which is good. Gunmandar, then Bulwark. Try to do it like that. Try to step up and taunt that one guy. Get your ass over here. What? This guy's just that much strength. He can still do strength damage to me. Jesus. Alright, you are the one with bloody flail. Actually, you might do good on attacking these ranged assholes. I think, honestly, you're doing... Maybe should have brought the Mender along. Probably would have come in handy. Alright, Ollie, can you get me an Axe Storm, buddy? No, it never works. Hey, it worked. Finally. 12 damage. Salt, probably one of the big guys, in which case you need to get your ass over here. It's again scary ass music. Let's get over to allow some room. Backwards, what a jerk. If I do this, then Bulwark's got no one to attack, though. Does Bulwark or otherwise come up and attack that guy? And probably hit me, frankly. Damn it. Axes on. Oh yeah, I forgot if you're next to Spar, he gives you power too. I can't 
target him? What about now? Come fight me. Nice. He's got that high-ass armor. Right, you get in a bulwark's way. Uh, might be... I mean, you could bloody flail. Mm, do you do more than three? So one, two... Well, it kind of evens out. Bloody fail is usually the best thing to do. Stab him with your small dagger, old man. If you go there and then defeat that guy, I think that gives a really willpower. Yeah. And he's got one health left, and he still has six armor damage. Jeez. You make it there. Pretty good one two punch. It's not bad, I think we only lost uh, Goodmunder. tricky thing here is I think the game just explained to me I can't rest anymore. People who are injured are just going to be injured. It's going to be a gauntlet. We may have avoided it's unnecessary running with the help of one of their kind. Yeah, we would have probably had a lot less fighters, though. Alright, game. Maybe I should have gotten the damn dredge. I can make them regret coming out of out of that hole. <laughs> I don't want to lose my good fighters. We're all going to see to that. So basically, I can choose not to participate in some of these fights. All right, if Goodmander is injured, that's a shame because he's been very useful. Um, you know what? Let's try this crazy rogue guy. We'll see. It makes us a little squishier now. I'm not sacrificing my axe throwing, darling. A lot of range guys. Oops. God, re ranging my guys is so nice. We used all our willpower though, didn't we? Actually, let's just taunt him. So he goes next. I don't think he can do anything against my 17. Nope. Sucker! Um, 
Let's see. Bulvert goes next. Don't. I'm gonna end up blocking you, Bulwark. You have to go there. Could move Falka up to there. Seems a tad risky. Spar, my friend, how far can you do your insult ability? One, two, three, four, five. I don't think you can actually reach that thing. One, two, three, four. Uh, maybe if you go here, you can. Yes. That is a help, thank you. Let's get that guy the hell out of there. of things. Attacking that guy. That's worth spending the three on. I believe. Well, we want to attack the other one. Yeah. If I had attacked one, I guess I would have ended up with a kill there. Kill here, though. All right, Mister. I can ignore armor. It's probably my best move. Exert any here? Oh yeah, he's Sunstrike. Two punch. Okay, we just need to get to pillage mode. You're gonna rely on the old man to do one damage to him, which I think he can actually. 
actually. This rogue is a neat idea, but it takes too many turns and too much to get off for not as much payback as I was hoping. And camp. Does it let us do that? Uh, it does. Alright, even though the game specifically told me not to not to stop in camp. Two more days, holy shit. Let's give Bulwark another promotion. He deserves the 21 renown. Can't even add anything else up. Oh wow. Oh. Gonna like some advanced perks there. Days though. We don't have the supplies for it. Ooh, we could train. <laughs> On the middle of our death march, we're gonna go ahead and do some training. Why not? I didn't say this was our last bout. Oh, this might be because this is our team. Oh, this seems like the last one. Call the weak three consecutive enemies, use the war horn five times, do ten or more strength damage a single hit, defeat all enemies. This one seems easier than the other one. It's also a lot of fucking dudes. A lot of fucking dudes. Three consecutive enemies. You'd have to set that up, though. Because oh, he's injured. Damn it. It's minus two strength. It's a big deal. Anything about insulting enemies, does it? There's so many varl. Ten or more strength damage, a single hit. So the most, the trickiest one is going to be called a weak three consecutive enemies, but I do need to be able to do ten or more strength damage. 
fucking luck with that. You have the runes, don't you? That could come in handy. You make some runes for me? Great, but when they're that they're sure to get. Damn it. Yep. Oh, fuck. Interesting, she absorbed some of it. He'll be the best one to try to do ten or more strength. How am I going to cull the weak all these fucking Varl? Can't do that much damage. there and do bear rage, but I don't think it's going to go over very well. Being super damn defensive here. Find him? No, interesting. Well, I could kill him, but I need to do 10 or more strength damage in a single hit. So. You can only do two exertion, though. So you can't quite do 10 or more. You could do 9. Well, maybe this counts then if I can attack this guy. 10, that counts as 10. Let's see. It does, okay. One of them done. You're just gonna have to do some armor damage, man. guys are going to come at me and do terrible things to me, and she's got no armor. I think I can try to cold the weak on that one, maybe. though if you can, which you really can't. Uh, 
that, you definitely need to repair some armor. All of her armor. Stupid rogue. Worthless as always. Why did I try and include you? You're still gonna do only one. You only have one strength. Game, why did you put so many Varl in me? Jesus Christ. Alright, you can do cold a week with full things. You can't get a kill on anybody here. Well, no, you'd have to do 10 damage that way. You have to set it up where you can do all three in a single turn. That's going to be real hard. Which means you need to lower quite a bit of their armors. But I don't have a good team for that. And Bulwark's taking a lot of damage. This guy can't move. Shit. I don't think this one's gonna happen. There's way too many of them. Even though you can bypass all that armor, it doesn't matter. What a terribly disappointing class you are, Rogue. Tracker, whatever you're supposed to be. He still just does all that strength damage. Yeah, I'm screwed. Oh, interesting. If Fulvert goes down, you're just donezo. My enthusiasm for doing these trainings are dwindling. I don't think I care to actually try this one again. I got zero even though I got one of the objectives? Alright, piss off. Plus, a Balverk was wounded, so it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. So, let's continue on our death march, because that sounds more... <laughs> sounds like a better idea. Good time to spike growing tired. Keep your heads down. Dredge are pressing in. Is this another fight? Lord, it is. Bulwark's injured, but he's still probably the best bet we've got. I'm taking the rogue out. I'm sick of that guy's shit. I'd rather have Zephyr in there. In fact, let's do that. Because at least she can heal people's armor. Six. Nobody's a little six. Where's that one? Plus two strength. Let's give that to you, and then we'll give this to you. <sighs> Not very many items in this game. Oh, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be fighting. 
fighting the dredge, I think. We'll work, put you here. You're gonna be useful. You're gonna go out in front. You're gonna stay back. After Bulwark, put you there. Clear those bloody rocks. Wow, you can actually almost just kill this guy. That's not a bad move. Backwards, that's really not good. God, and give him all kinds of debuffs too. What the fuck? These guys are nasty. Just to be clearing these rocks, like literally. Like, is that really what we're supposed to be doing here? Or is that just like a decoration? Maybe I shouldn't have run up there to engage these guys then. Stone singers and their poison, it's terrible. Well, I was gonna insult the blue guy, but he's already not going for a while. Just to be clearing these rocks away or not. Uh, you attack this guy, and it's. You're gonna attack uh, Folko right back. Unfortunately.
these stupid runic gales work out. Never. Taking a whole lot of armor damage. Heal where I can. This guy still had 17 armor and one health left. That's fucking bananas. Still only do Oh, I'm Zephyr, that's why. injured. Jesus Christ. This game is at a whole other level of difficulty compared to the first one. One that I'm not necessarily in enjoying rising to the challenge of. At least with uh, Bulwark's team and the Dredge. Alette's team feels a lot better. Charges blindly and blows the rocks blocking the path. The cart takes a beating but mends back to the original shape and the ravens rally to the opening. I 
if that was a special dialogue just because I lost that one. Or maybe it was supposed to just sit back there and attack the damn snow. I don't know. I guess I'm glad the game doesn't end in game over. Speaks out. This reminds me of the ambush I sprung on Talon, the craziest chieftain of men I ever fought. His fighters were all strung out and tired like this. One small trick would have ruined our ambush, but lucky for us, they never figured it out. Mind the details, let me take some fighters to handle the situation. Too young to have regrets. I've only had two in my life. One was sleeping too close to the fire in a great hall after eating eggs for 12 days straight. I'll tell you the second another time. Bye, Coomer. I don't care about you, so I'm willing to let you go. I should have crumpled a hundred years ago. The last stand. Sure do. Don't attack them. <laughs> Mercenaries, huh? You don't look worth a damn, let alone coin. Easy. Last thing we need to spill each other's blood before that dark world of the dredge get that chance, eh? Don't know what they're doing. And we're charged with keeping this route open for the clans that went to Arborang. So we know we're going to be killing as many of those dredge as we can. March the fighting lack of sleep, I'll catch up with you and you fall to a knee. You're trying to catch yourself, but gracelessly, your head hits the snow. So tell us what to do and we'll do it. We've got fighters who could use some tips or encouragement. Maybe we could build some stake walls with parts of building. Up to you, but you don't have time to do much and no one's expecting miracles. Regardless of how this plays out, I'm glad you stumbled near when you did. Boy. One thing tougher than an old Vaal war leader in a mission. Definitely getting to some ending situations here, but I think that is going to do it for me for this session of The Banner Saga 2. I'll be back on Monday. I um, don't know if next session will conclude it. Probably another two sessions at least. But uh, I'll see you then.